First part of this question says, how many local minima does f of x have? This is a graph of the derivative, right? So that's the trickiest part about this question. This is an f of x. This is the derivative of f of x. So we got to use the definition of the, of the first derivative test. Just like we've, um, I guess you might not have seen those other videos, but the first derivative test says, if you have a negative slope and then it changes to a positive slope, you just hit a local minimum, okay? And the reason for that, here, you can draw a quick little anecdote. We know what local minimums, local maximums look like. So here, if you, if you look at this local minimum, the derivative to the left is negative. The derivative to the right is a positive, so that's a local minimum. And then the reverse for maximums, the derivative to the left of the local maximum is slightly positive, and the derivative to the right is negative. So if you go from positive to negative, if you go from increasing to decreasing, that means you hit the peak of the mountain. You're going down the mountain now, so you hit a local maximum. And if you go from negative to positive, then you've hit the end of the valley. You stop decreasing, you start increasing. That's a local minimum. So this derivative is in the negatives over here where I'm highlighting with my mouse. And then it's in the positives after this coordinate. So there's, uh, we went from negative to positive, so that's a local minimum. Okay? The derivative here went from positive to negative. So x equals 5 should be a local maximum. It was increasing. The function is, has a positive derivative, so that means it's going up. It's still going up, but at a slower rate, it's still going up. Now it's neither going up nor going down because the derivative is 0. And now the function graph is going down because it has a negative slope. So if you go from a positive slope to a negative slope, then you have a local maximum. So this is a max. x equals negative 6 is a minimum. It looks like there's one local minima. Oh, and that's all they want is the local minimum.